electric 15-pound matchup between Randa Marcos and Paige Van Zandt. Still just 23 years old, 12-gauge Paige Van Zandt has already been charged with headlining for the UFC twice and has had some big moments inside the octagon. We'll see if Paige Van Zandt can continue her strawweight ascension tonight in a big spot yet again. This girl has ridiculously impressive, lightning fast hand speed. It is one of her best qualities and one of the most terrifying things that you could face inside the octagon. When someone is faster than you, it is such a huge advantage. Well, here's the Michigan top team rep, Randa Quiet Storm Marcos, and what a story it is for Marcos. Escaped from Baghdad, Iraq with her family when she was three years old and has gone on to UFC glory. In terms of women representing Canada, perhaps nobody has higher expectations than Randa Marcos. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu blue belt, outstanding grappler, and given her backdrop, right, escaping out of Iraq, Joe, no denying the determination and all the heart that Randa Marcos brings to the table. This girl has excellent footwork. She is very difficult to get a hold of, very difficult to keep up against the cage, and her footwork, both moving in and out and side to side, are outstanding. She's very difficult to catch cleanly and excellent at closing the distance and landing her own strikes. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. A freestyle fighter holding a professional record of seven wins, three losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of San Francisco, California, Rose Cage, Paige Benzai. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the left corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of eight wins, seven losses, and one draw. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Randa Quiet Storm Marcos. And with the attributes, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this Ready one. Ready. Here we go. All right, so we get another look tonight at the young strawweight contender, Paige Van Zandt. She's a well-rounded fighter, does everything pretty well, plus finishing skills, both in terms of her knockouts and her submissions. Freestyle fighter representing Team Alpha Male in Sacramento, California. And they both stand up. Wow! Huge uppercut oh. misses. combination there by Van Zandt. That punch will work right through the door. Nice defense there. She blocks the shot, Joe. Yeah, these are, what did you say about my mother punches? Back and forth we go. Oh, very nice. Oh, straight right. Well, she got her head snapped back with that jab, Joe, and she continues to show a vulnerability here by almost leaning right into her opponent's range. Let's see if she can move that upper body and get her head off the center line. One on the hook. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Stuffed it. Battling for hooks. That sprawl is useful as she avoids the takedown attempt to get her nice little shot.
big body shot. shot. Body. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. And now she's got full mount. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Randa Marcos. And avoids the clinch. Marcos gets up and decides to take this fight back to the feet, despite having a dominant position on the ground. Well, again, she lands another takedown there, so really doing a nice job scoring points with these takedowns. The opponent doesn't see it coming either, right? She's not telegraphing the shot, and as such, she has her opponent grounded yet again. There's a single attempt. All right, so another takedown here by Marcos. Excellent movement here on the ground. She moves into full mount. Posture's up. She's got full back mount. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Working from side control. And back up again. Well, most of the time tonight when she has gone for the takedown that has been there, look for her to try to set up another takedown here. She's in north-south. Trying to spin to the back. Nice right hand. Under a minute now to go. Van Zant gets caught with that punch. She establishes full mount. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Win the scramble, win the scramble. Posture's up here. She gets her back again. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Beautiful sweep. All right, there's the clapper. 10 seconds to go. Round two is next. And there's the horn. Huge knockdown in that round. Great round from Paige Van Zandt. Huge knockdown and very close to stopping that fight, I should add. Let's take a look at that again. Let's see it one more time. No big deal. You got a little cut. It's not going to affect this at all. Do not worry about it. I need you to take a deep breath. Ariane Celeste on hand as usual. All right, here we go with round two. Effective punch there by Marcos. Oh! Huge right hand! She might try to finish this fight here. This could be it right here. Man, another takedown. Scored a lot of points with these. Now the opponent is getting up quickly, but no doubt these takedowns are starting to add up. Both fighters back to their feet now. Oh! Oh, beautifully done with the hook there by Van Zandt. Push kick there to the body. How about that shin? Oh, nice knee to the body. Strong to quite strong there. Well, she ate a pretty good hook shot to the body there, Joe, and now she's going to have to be careful moving forward. Her opponent
opponent has gotten a pretty good read here tonight. She has been vulnerable because she has leaned in. Let's see if she lowers the guard now here to prevent further damage by that hook. Nice punch there by Marcos. Van Zandt gets back up again. Marcos goes for the takedown, unable to land. One of the better takedown artists out there. Nothing doing on that attempt. Block the punch. She defends another takedown here. Good takedown defense so far in this fight for her. She's going after the guillotine. Nicely done. Holding that front headlock position. One arm guillotine here. That choke looks locked up tight. Oh, we're getting a finish here. That guillotine is tighter and tighter. She might have to tap any second now. That's a wrap, folks. Got caught in the choke, didn't want to tap, and went to sleep. Yeah, so how about that, Joe? She goes to sleep, and you've got to admire her toughness for not wanting to tap out, but she just couldn't deal with the grappling acumen of her opponent here tonight. A beautiful setup and an even better display of technique to ultimately get the finish and put her opponent out for good. And one more time here, super tight choke, and she's out. And it's over before she even gets a chance to tap. So there she is, your winner by way of submission. That's a finish they'll be talking about for some time. Bruce Buffer now has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going south to this contest at 2 minutes, 24 seconds of round number 2. For the winner by submission... 12-gauge, So the celebration is on for PVZ, and rightfully so. You can argue this was her cleanest performance to date. There has been a ton of skill development for Paige Van Zandt. You saw it tonight. She has clearly made the most of her UFC experience. She has maximized her time away from the octagon, and it looks as though the best is yet to come. It is a women's 115-pound matchup between Alexa Grasso and Paige Van Zandt. Well, she finished second as the runner-up on Dancing with the Stars, but this is a fighter's fighter. 12-gauge Paige Van Zandt the longtime Team Alpha male representative, and really is just getting started. Outstanding striker with a lot of finishing instincts, has started to work dutifully on the grappling and the wrestling to sort of round out her MMA game. But Paige Van Zandt, already a contender, and still just 23 years of age. This girl has excellent footwork. It's one of her strongest qualities. She is very difficult to hit, and she can close the distance and hit you very quickly. Very tough to train with anybody who can emulate the type of footwork that she possesses. Ripping Mexico 100% and her team Lobo MMA. Here is Alexa Grasso, the Mexican phenom, fighting out of Guadalajara. And man, does she have star potential. No longer undefeated, but still a legitimate strawweight threat and contender. Outstanding striker, also brings some jujitsu credentials to the table. Knockout wins, four of them, three in 36 seconds or less. You gotta be mindful of Alexa Grasso's power and her technique. We'll see if she continues that trend tonight. This girl has outstanding speed and footwork. Very difficult to catch, very elusive, and very good at closing the distance and landing her own strikes. She is absolutely terrifying on the feet because of this. Our tail of the tape for this strawweight fight. Even match up here on paper, a lot of similarities across the board, evenly matched when it comes to the numbers. 
the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the new ball. This woman is a freestyle fighter, only a professional record of seven wins, three losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Sacramento, California. Well, Cage, Cage, And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 10 wins, two losses. She stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, Alexa Grossa. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, third man in the octagon for this one. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. That's a really strong leg kick there by Van Zandt. Just a slip there. The referee stepping in, wants more action and we return to the center of the octagon. Let's go, come on. Oh, she blocks the punch. Right hook. Nice punch there by Grosso. Good maneuvers here to avoid clinching. Well, she continues to leave that head open, and she paid for it there. She's almost moving into the strike. She hasn't changed up her tempo, and she continues to keep her head on that center line. We'll see if she can make the proper adjustments here. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh! oh! This could be it right here. for a single. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Van Zandt gets hit with a kick. That looked like it hurt you. Excellent takedown defense. Showing good defense here, controlling that arm. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Grosso. Inside control once again. Oh, elbow to the head. Opening up with elbows here. Excellent movement here on the ground. She's now in full guard. Excellent posture. Gets the elbow up into the target. Nice combination of strikes from the full guard. And now she's stacking her. Lands a strike. 
there. She's stacking her now. One minute to go here in the opening round. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Nice left hand. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. And now she's stacking her. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. She lands with the left hand. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound. Total domination! Do it. Gets the TKO late in the round. Yeah, Joe, I think it was a good stoppage by the referee, and she'll live to fight another day. Ultimately, she was not intelligently defending herself, and the real damage was being inflicted by the opposition. So once it became a dangerous situation, the official has no choice but to step in. That is what he did. Wise call there by the referee. We can see it here on a different angle. There are some big shots getting through here. Vicious ground and pound combination that leads to the TKO. Let's see it one more time. So a seminal moment in her young career here tonight as she gets the win by TKO. That is how you make noise and make a statement to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Amasaki is called to stop for this contest at four minutes, 42 seconds of the very first round. To claim the winner by TKO, 12-gauge Paige Hansen. So the celebration is on for PBC, and rightfully so, you can argue, this was her cleanest performance to date. There has been a ton of skill development for Paige Van Zandt. She has clearly made the most of her time in the gym and maximized her UFC experience. It looks as though for Paige Van Zandt, the best is yet to come.